touch it up, let's make it official. Belt is on the line in the lightweight division. Will it be Ben Henderson or that man, Jamie Varner? Ben Henderson knows expect. He's fighting an excellent job of studying Ben Henderson. Wow. And but Jamie Varner pushing the pace early. Every fight he's going to get better. That could be an entertaining fight. Really pushing for that knee bar attempt. Turned into the Houdini of the lightweight division after his mission attempt. Uh, it's still to this day. This is one of the, the, the first couple uh, guillotine attempts. At well, he is really cranking down on the neck of Ben Henderson. Henderson is in a bad place right now, but we've seen that uh, before. Sometimes I say, uh, oh, it's, oh, oh, nice. Varner brings up a big knee. He's even close on this yeah. guy. Headlock from uh, Jamie Varner, and uh, his hips are in excellent position. And uh, he's, so right now he just kind of has to, you know, yeah. to stand him up. And here's the thing about Ben. Definitely an advantage there, but Ben Henderson can set things off like that. And we've got problems, and Jamie Varner looking for a stop there. Now, you can't ever expect the referee to your shoulders right. pointed at your opponent. You're ready to defend. You backed off, and you know what? That's not dirty play over by Ben yeah. Henderson. It's like, hey, the referee hasn't told him to stop. Cage, and it's the round is on. You keep fighting unless you're told otherwise. The champion, Ben Henderson, the interim champion. Fire miles. Big knees tick away. We will see a second round when we come back to Sacramento. At the start of round number two. It's Rob McCullen, some of those other guys, but I think he respects Ben Henderson too much. Oh, big knee comes up. Ben Henderson can... It does keep your opponent from wanting to throw a right hand, you know? If you throw a right hand, it could be even more devastating. Fight. I think if he wants to push the pace, Jamie at all, he needs to push the a little bit more. Right now, Jamie's controlling the tip. Under three and a half to go here in round number two, and contact made there. I think both are in great shape, but uh, as far as uh, natural tendencies, I think his heart rate is going to be naturally lower than somebody else's. He's extremely fit individual. Those guys that get to train against each other, Warner talks a lot about swimming with the, uh, you know, the air. is an extremely difficult, you know, aquatic center. Building up Donald Cerrone. Donald Cerrone. What the hell is this going? I think he needs to go a few more, though. Wow. The guy, I mean, right now, might, well, yeah, you know, this head and body movement coming forward. Anderson shoots away. Big body shots coming from Jesus. For the judges on who's a nice little Greco grip. Little head and arm toss from uh, Ben Henderson right now. He's going to break out and try to go ahead and go for uh, a hand combination. Finish the flurry. Live, but uh, see that. Uh, is it? Remember, you know you got to go ring control. And we'll see the third round. He's in a great position because even if he doesn't get to get those two back in the cage again, it's coming out of the great state of Arizona. I love the roundhouses to the body. Time to jab afterwards would be nice. Just keep that outside foot though. He's kind of drifting his right. Well, the fans here in Arco getting a look. Take one step back and fire that left hand. Big combination flurries. They come together. Under two and a half to go. Varner shoots. Nice. Oh, Anderson. Oh, wow. He's got him. Henderson jumps into a guillotine. Are you kidding me? Wow! That was quickness. Winner by guillotine chunk, and now the